Today, we're going to discuss a phenomenon known as genomic imprinting. Everyone is exactly half of their dad and half of their mom, right? Not quite. Several biological processes can change that balance. One such process is called genomic imprinting. Genomic imprinting is an epigenetic mechanism, but what does that mean? This means that it occurs by modifying the activation of genes, not by changing the genetic makeup of an organism. In genomic imprinting, genes are turned off and on depending whether the gene was inherited from the mother or the father. When offspring inherit genes from their parents, they receive two copies of the gene, one from each parent. In a typical scenario, both copies will affect how the gene works, yet there are special circumstances where either the mother or the father's gene copy is inactivated. When one gene copy is turned off, that leaves just one copy on. Although the reason for genomic imprinting is not certain, scientists have discovered that it is present in many species and can be crucial for reproduction and development. We know that DNA is comprised of adenines, thymines, guanines, and cytosines, but let's take a closer look at how cytosines are methylated. At the fifth carbon position of cytosines, a methyl group can be attached by a protein called DNA methyltransferase. This is the process of DNA methylation. The methyl group serves as a tag, ensuring the copy of the gene will stay off for future generations. The attachment of the methyl group works in several ways. First, it prevents transcription factors that help activate genes from landing on the DNA. When the methyl group is attached, the landing platform is blocked. Secondly, the methylated DNA recruits methyl binding proteins. Methyl binding proteins recruit additional factors which wrap the DNA up, making it inaccessible. The DNA becomes tightly compacted, shutting off the gene. These marks are maintained in all the cells of an organism throughout its lifetime. The only time the marks are reset is in the germ cells of the next generation. Male and female germ cells get different marks because they play different roles in embryo development. Scientists continue to study genomic imprinting to gain further insight regarding the mechanism, function, and advantage of this process.